Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Markets Dealing Room. A uh, little update for you from yesterday, we have uh, had the US dollar uh, a little mixed after the uh, FOMC. It was going into the FOMC after being short squeezed a little, uh, you can see on the Euro. Uh, was attempting to get back above the, the 120 level. Uh, but then, you know, obviously there was enough in uh, the FOMC uh, statement there, uh, especially regarding the removal of concerns about uh, inflation to get the market uh, more focused on rate hikes coming forward. Uh, little there actually in terms of the, the scope of things uh, to, to get the market to move either way, uh, but steady as she goes and the US dollar weakness was bought uh, on the euro, on the pound. Uh, and on the uh, dollar yen as well. Uh, look, we haven't had too much follow through either way, uh, so it is a little bit more stable today. Uh, you did see a rally sharply uh, on the Aussie dollar back above 75 after really nice uh, uh, trade balance starter and uh, building approvals here. Um, but we're, we're actually stable in, in terms of the dollar index as well. The, the market hasn't really decided to kick on just yet. And this may be the case until we do get to um, uh, the NFP on Friday, which will be a bit more of a clearer short-term indicator of, of if the US dollar is going to have uh, a little bit more legs to stand on. Uh, consolidation though without major pullback is uh, definitely a bullish sign for the dollar. Um, so fresh eyes overnight for the uh, dollar index uh, and sitting here around 92. If we were to get a short squeeze uh, on the Euro or the Aussie, uh, then it might get a bit more serious. Uh, in terms of you looking for reasons to sell the US dollar, then the dollar yen did fail at 110, so that is a little bit for it. But really, um, you know, it's hard to hard to call for a deeper pullback, um, other than the fact that you know the market is a little over overbought. So uh, the overbuying of the US dollar has to be worked out one way or the other. You can have a short squeeze uh, um, on the euro or, or the pound and the Aussie, or you can have just consolidation, and that consolidation over time will uh, work out some of the overbought signals as well and then can have the next leg uh, if that's where the market wants to play out. So uh, those looking for a bit of a bigger short squeeze, uh, we do need a catalyst and that catalyst uh, isn't there at the moment. Uh, you do have uh, a little bit of uh, unemployment claims uh, this uh, coming up tonight but really I mean the more important, most important thing in the market right now will be the NFP if you want to get uh, a big short squeeze started. Uh, on the euro, it, it has to come in disappointing for the NFP tomorrow night, and it's just unlikely given that NFP has been one of the bright spots uh, for the uh, for the US anyway in the last six months. So, uh, looking for weakness there is, is a bit of a stretch. Uh, much more likely to get something weak if it was a a, a PMI or a, a CPI number, you know, something that would actually have a bit more uh, uh, variability uh, in its return in the last. A few months, anyhow. Uh, so, looking for US dollar strength in general, um, it'd be nice to get a, a better level to get involved. But uh, the trend is pretty clear at the moment. Uh, and the last big level that hasn't broken uh, clearly is only the dollar yen. So, if dollar yen back, if it was to get above 110 today, uh, that would lead uh, to further gains for the US dollar against everything. Uh, the pound is probably the most troubled of all the majors, and this is on the back of not just. Uh, weakening data and low, lower chances of rate hikes, but also the uh, the Brexit issues are now boiling into uh, concerns about May and her leadership as half of her party is uh, arguing uh, about her plan for the customs union and uh, threatening to, to boycott and, uh, you know, to remove her if it was to be uh, pushed through as it is currently. Um, now, there's still a lot of negotiations on, and a lot of it is uh, uh, newspaper leaks and, and such. So we haven't got really a clear understanding if this is uh, getting more serious just yet. Uh, but it's definitely enough to, to put that dampener on any rally. And so some nice data yesterday. Did get a squeeze here in the uh, pound, uh, but then the, the issues with uh, May would just provide another opportunity to uh, sell, the, uh, sell the pound on the rally. So nothing damaged here in the downtrend and still looking for bigger levels on the downside and you have to go back way back in time to find those bigger levels um, and we're looking at the previous breakout level as the first big uh, support and that was coming in around about 133, uh, 132.50 and that um, also coincides with uh, where the US dollar index would probably be getting resistance as well. 
Alright guys, uh, best of luck with your trades if you're involved today. Uh, if you do want to have a, a deeper chat about some of the crosses, uh, come through on the contact numbers below. Uh, if you don't have access to the dealing room, uh, please sign up on the link below and uh, you'll be a, uh, assigned a dealer like myself to help you um, once you open up a dealing room account. Cheers.